Please help me preach to your neighbor. If you win in your soul, you win on the ground. If you lose in your soul, you lose on the ground. You may not be aware, but there are a lot of a lot of factors, a lot of war that goes on in the privacy of the human heart to subdue the soul for you to concede defeat within your soul because if you are defeated inside you'll be defeated on the ground and everything that the devil does is to ensure that you are defeated inside and you accept defeat how many of you have accepted defeat before all right all right uh, so when you, the defeat becomes obvious inside it means that seasons and times will reveal the reality of the obvious defeat that's what happens and if you refuse to give up in your spirit in your heart with time what you believed will come to pass the bible says cast not away your confidence for therein lies a great recompense of reward are you faced with impossibilities right now and everything is trying to make you feel that the best way out of this trouble is to give in men of faith never surrender yeah so there are spirits there are spirits and i need to show you the operation of familiar spirits here familiar spirits first of all when you begin to do something and you strike this is phase one we'll do phase two tomorrow we'll do phase two tomorrow phase two is a long teach maybe while we are doing the prayers we'll be teaching and praying and teaching and praying then phase three which is we'll do the practicals something will happen here before you go Hallelujah. Okay. Now so most of what the devil wants to do is to get you to become defeated and there are several spirits that um, have this specialty of ministering to you. They, uh, you will think you are the one thinking. There are two ways that this thing can happen. Either through your imagination or through your thought life. And demons can connect with you in telepathic means now who knows the canvas the platforms the platform where faith is formed faith is formed in the heart is that true fear is formed where doubt is formed where no doubt is formed in the mind don't ever forget that in fact the mother of fear is doubt Whereas God is trying to engage your spirit and put, put something on the canvas of your spirit so that it will forge, it will be so strong on your heart. The devil is trying to perforate that which God is building by getting your mind to, to resonate on a frequency that is inconsistent with that which God is building. If you don't win that war, you are not likely to win other wars. They can move through circumstances. In fact, if you are not, if you are not careful, you will think Satan is strong. How many of you have started a spiritual um, exercise before and when you began to do the spiritual exercise suddenly Satan begins to attack and you, your health started going bad. How many of you have? Did you continue? Okay, you, you just you, you gave in and said what, what, what you don't know does not know you. So, <laughs> No, you see you must come to that point where the spirit of the matter comes on you. And like our ancestors of old you must be able to tell the devil if I die when he hears that everybody in the bible that says if i die i die never die the people that said i go die you they died, they died before evening hallelujah that's why i told you that the fa safest place to be in a warfare is in the war front is in the forefront don't don't no no don't slack don't slack behind there is there is an insurance policy there's an insurance policy that covers people where in the forefront if you decide to slack back he says his soul will not have any pleasure in you so the first thing that the devil is likely to do when you are striking a chord maybe you are praying in your family and the way you are going the way you are going you are likely to get the culprit the culprit is likely to be cut off ah. they will intimidate you first strike you then you to look as if you are sick what they are trying to do is to get you to doubt. It's your mind they are trying to get. Every act of intimidation is, is an assault on your mind. 
your mind, your mind, your mind. Have you only, have you have you given up already? I say, oh, for me, marriage is no longer possible. Ah, how did you get there? Satan has never created any human being before, so Satan should not be the one that should conclude your case. But he goes through the mind. The first thing he does is intimidation. Sometimes it can be so physical that after you finish praying, you get a call. A call from someone that doesn't call you. And then the person threatens you on the phone. It's intimidation. Every time you get an intimidation, just know that what it means is that you are doing very well. Your, your, your weapons are striking. It's supposed to be a, a thing of motivation. Have you ever gone somewhere you started praying rigorously and fasting and then suddenly, suddenly a witch came and said, this kind of prayer, have you, anybody here? This kind of prayer, this, this prayer, something bad will happen. I come and see now. It, that's a good feedback that your weapons are effective you are supposed to double the activity double it so the first thing they do is intimidate when the intimidation doesn't work then the next thing is that they will send a familiar spirit to work on your mind 90% of believers do not survive the second phase that spirit has no other work other than to precipitate thoughts into your spirit if you are not a spiritual person that is gifted in in discernment capacities through the the scriptures and through the holy ghost you are likely to be derailed that's the kind of time you might sleep and when you in your dream you now see roku with knife trying to kill you I say ah, roku You know, it's, it's still people that are in the kindergarten that believe everything that they see. Hallelujah. Now see Europe. So, this is the best thing. Not this. Hallelujah. Well, just in case you are confused whether it is Europe. Huh? When you wake up from the sleep, you know, that one came when you were sleeping. You did not have control over it. Abi, go back to God and say, I saw Europe today. What do you have to say about it? You begin to see how many lies you have received in form of dreams. If you are diligent to do that, the Bible says, test all things and hold on to that which is good. It didn't say hold on to everything. I have seen many people that did it. In fact, a wonderful man of God, what happened was that Leviathan struck the congregation because he took a dry fast. And when he took that dry fast and aligned with God, the angel that God sent into the territory became stronger in stature and struck the principality because of his alignment. I will tell you how it happens from overhead and on ground. He struck the principality. What? The principality knew that if he received three blows like that, his influence over the territory will be lost. So what he did was that he sent another a deceiving spirit to the congregation and half of the women in the congregation saw the wife as a witch <laughs> oh, oh, you guys don't know warfare you don't, <laughs> well, you don't understand they said eh, I saw something and then when they discussed with the other woman said, ah, you, you also oh. if you are a minister that is too congregation conscious you are going to miss God. Yeah. You are going to miss God. You, it's not the people that called you. No. No. It's not the people that called you. As wonderful as people are, the person that called you is different. And there are times that in some spiritual attacks, you cannot stop members from leaving. So if you are a freak, a member freak, you are already lost. The man said, the man told his wife, I know what is happening. Sit down. About 70% of his church left, and they say his wife is a witch. He continued. They continued. They continued. They continued. They continued. And uh, that was how God used that man to raise the dead. 
this person was four days dead the composition has started the man raised four days the guy raised from the dead with decomposition it was on his life body that that thing started healing say what manner of of man is this then other people now came and all those people that left lost their place in that move of god lost their place most of them died after 13 years five years six years all those people that left that covering because they were part of the soldiers that generated the prayer that made the angels strike so those ones that left the covering that principle then after that attack that woman that they say was a witch became a mighty prophet yes the woman grew in the anointing more than the man yes so when when, when the man comes to the pulpit to introduce his wife and go and see them. And that woman was a warrior. Ula. Mama yaka, mama, mama. Me, I'm tired of the preaching. I'm tired. I'm waiting for one of you that I will introduce. I said. <laughs> oh. Demons, demons. They went and transmitted things that look like vision. Oh, most of you don't know that I've seen you people be, uh, for with, with, with AK-47. <laughs> 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 with AK-47. I say, I say, wait, Lord, where is this thing coming from? You see, he doesn't know anything about it. If we take up, if, if, if you are being careless, those people that you have cut off from your life because of things that you did not check you were actually playing and dancing according to the music of the devil you were familiar spirits that monitored you and knocked you off 